Hi everybody, I'm Len Friedman, the co-founder and CEO of Wellness Living. Welcome to another edition of our release video. The release number is 54.22 and look at here, I am wearing a brand new t-shirt. Yes, I do have other t-shirts other than the red. So I absolutely love making these videos, especially ones that I get to talk about all these cool features and enhancements that the team and I have been working on. This release has some huge improvements that I'm super excited to announce, so let's get started. First up is Forms. We released this new feature last sprint and many of you have been utilizing it and that's amazing. So now we have a number of improvements for this release. So first and foremost, your clients can now view and complete your forms within the Achieve app. Yes, I hear that clapping from over here. Achieve app has forms, amazing. Okay, this is very important. I know many of you have been asking for that and we delivered with this release. Also, working on adding forms to the Elevate staff app, so look for that in a future release. Another enhancement we made to forms is we've added icons so you can quickly identify which clients have incomplete forms. So make sure, make sure that you check that out and utilize it. It's super, super effective. Okay, this next feature is for all you UK customers out there, and I know there are lots. So Message Center finally is now available for UK. So make sure that you check out that feature. It's awesome. North America's had it for a while. Now you in the UK get to take advantage of it as well. Another enhancement that we made to the Message Center is staff can now pin conversations to the top of the inbox for convenience. You know, customization has always been a hallmark of our software. You run your business on it. You know, we want to make sure that our software caters to you, not the other way around. So in this release, we made it possible for actually your staff to customize or dictate whether no-show fees are applied uh, for no-shows or cancellations on an ad hoc per client basis. So before it was all automated, so if you mark a person no-show or late cancel, the fees are automatically as associated. Now you can do it on an ad hoc basis on a per client basis. You have full control over that. So this next feature I'm super excited about, it's called Power Search, and I'm really liking this feature because I actually was the one working on it. Yes, I do still do work as a CEO, yes, yes. So Power Search, what is it? Well, it enables you to filter through clients really, really rapidly, and you can actually fine tune those filter options with not just demographic information, but you can filter by a balance due, expired credit cards, uh, attendance information and so much more and you can actually create client groups out of those power searches it's such a powerful feature that we called it power search so there are a number of improvements we've made to this feature not only that we actually improved the look and feel of the power search interface but we've also added some additional logic to your reports but say you want to find all the clients who bought a certain purchase option but they also attended either class A or class B. Well, that's an OR search, and we've added that to Power Search now for the first time. Additionally, now you can also use Power Search for clients who have ACH information or credit card information that's missing. So, super, super powerful. You must check this feature out. Knowing which passes and how many visits are remaining on an account is super, super important. We added a new column called Pass Visits for future passes and memberships after it auto renews so you can easily identify how many visits were used before and after the renewal. Very powerful feature, so make sure that you actually read about this feature in the knowledge base. It talks all about it. Make sure you're checking out the knowledge base. You know, we have a team of writers. They actually love documenting and we want you to use it. Use the documentation. It's right there at your fingertips. This one is for all the martial arts studios out there that are using the belt functionality of the software. So we've added and or logic to belts. 
So similar how we use, we've added and or logic to power search, we've added to belts now. So you can get really granular in how you utilize the belt promotion process. It's extremely customizable and I want you to read about this customization in the knowledge base. It's all documented there. It's a huge enhancements to belts and it came with this release so make sure that you check it out. I remember telling everyone out there in the previous release video that you can expect to see a lot of appointment based functionality improvements in this release and all other releases going forward and this release is no exception. This release we've added several improvements to appointments. I'm going to cover just some of those things that we've done in the video but make sure that you check out the release notes and the knowledge base for more details. So first off, we streamlined the booking experience for, for your staff, reducing the number of clicks. They no longer need to click that next button. I know that was a big pain for a lot of folks, so we have eliminated that click. Another enhancement we've done for appointments is clients can view appointment and asset times in the time zone that they prefer, or the time zone will be automatically selected based on their browser settings. So again, like lots of enhancements to appointments. Another functionality improvement that we've added to appointments is when you're actually rescheduling an appointment, you can select whether the staff or the client gets the rescheduling notification. Sometimes you want them to receive that notification and other times you simply don't. So we've added that flexibility with this release. Additionally, we've added some functionality back into reports. The day, week, month filter buttons are back now. I know a lot of you guys hear the clapping going on. Yes, they're back and they're customizable. So just click the gear icon and boom, you're all there. You can add those buttons uh, on a per report basis. Very, very powerful customization that we've added back into reports. This one was highly requested and it's a behavior uh, concerning when you cancel a membership. So we've updated the membership cancellation flow to allow to set a cancellation date, choose whether to allow clients to use their remaining visits and mark upcoming visits as paid or not paid, giving you a lot more control over what happens to remaining visits and upcoming paid visits when you cancel an appointment or when you cancel a membership. So super, super powerful. With this new feature, you're actually able to cancel one of your clients' membership and set a cancellation date into the future, identify whether or not they want to use those remaining visits after the cancellation occurs. So you can basically say whether or not those future visits that they may or may not have booked in the future are either marked as paid or not paid. So again, very, very powerful. So we're always improving the usability of our software, the look and feel, making it really ultra modern is really super, super important to us. And we have a dedicated team of UX UI designers and that's what they do and they love it. So redesigns you'll see in this release are things like the client web application schedule. Uh, the actual, the standard uh, schedule widget is also being updated. The client web app settings page and options to customize the side navigation to a light or dark theme. All of those you'll find in this release. There's so many new and other enhancements that are coming up that are just got released. There are really too many to list in this release video. So make sure you check out the release notes. They're all there. Guys, I want to thank you really from the bottom of my heart uh, for all you guys out there part of the family, right? We really view you as customers as part of our family. I want to encourage you to right now, right now, take this moment and subscribe and like this video. It really helps the, the you know, what is that algorithm called? Well, it's the YouTube algorithm. Yeah, we need your help there. So make sure that you like and subscribe this video. Put your comments. Don't be afraid to put your comments down. I answer personally every single comment on our YouTube channel. So I really encourage you to ask those questions and request some features. You got the community forum, amazing. I love the fact that, you know, we got, I think we got like 5,000 or more, you know, of you out there on the community forum requesting features, talking, answering questions. It's incredible. It's a incredible, credible thing. But also take a moment and put your comments down below. I'm gonna be answering them. 
Guys, thank you again for listening to my video and I hope you like my new shirt. Uh, I might go back to the red one for the next video, but we'll see what happens. In any case, thank you guys for being part of the Wellness Living family. Till next time.